morning, everyone. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do our daily card messages for Wednesday, August 9th, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. So this morning I'm using um, Spirit of Flowers by Los Arbeto. And these are Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Taylor. Sandra Ann Taylor, sorry. Um, just to get um, overall energy for today. And you guys have the thinking man. So with this card, this man could be a love interest coming your way. Could be just a male friend. You know, absolutely, absolutely with this card, you know, be on the lookout for this, for this person. This man could also represent, you know, he's a thoughtful and reflective man. You know, representing, you know, the potential presence, it could be a teacher in your life. Or, or someone who is is about to arrive in your life soon. This person, you know, could actually be there to educate you. You know, in in you know, you know, choosing the finer details of your of your of your direction, or just maybe there, you know, someone he could be there just to assist you, and even like specific spiritual, mental, or em emotional pursuits. You know, you're just asked to pay attention, you know, for this man. You know, this could, this man could lead you to, you know, greater strides, you know, in personal or professional growth. For some of you with this card and this card, let me just get this out of the way. With the Eight of Swords, okay, you could be really worried and stressed over taking some big final exam today or a test that's very important to you. But this man is absolutely there for your assistance. Others of you could be, let's flip over the rest of these cards. Okay, interesting. Okay, so the Eight of Swords, definitely being in the mind, you know, thinking too much, contemplating. You know, it's that indecisiveness. You know, just, just feeling trapped by circumstances outside of your control. But the, but I feel like too, a lot of you are trying to take back your power in some way. And maybe trying to be bold about it. You know, right in the center, these are the um, Reverie Lenormand cards. Amazing cards. I love them. And you have 22, which this is a decision, a crossroads. Which path do I choose? Which way do I go? Now, this could be in relationships. It definitely has to do with, this is the overall energy, okay? General reading, guys, you know, man or woman, doesn't matter. Maybe this person is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or, or Rising. But you're being asked with angel answer cards to take action. Okay, you, the, the time has come to take action. You know, God, 
your angels, they are waiting for you to take the next step so that they could assist you along the way. They could assist you in, in making this decision. You need to absolutely do away with the fear with both of these cards, the uncertainty, procrastination that's in your heart. You know what you want to do. You know the choice that you want to make. And this card straight up says, get your ass moving, literally. Like whether you're focused upon your career, relationships, whatever the topic is, the, fulfill the fulfillment of your wishes isn't, it's not going to just, unfortunately, I wish, but it's not going to just fall into your lap. You know, you have to, you have to actually actively, you know, focus on the pursuit of what you want, you know, go out there and get it. And there are signs all around you. Um, Healing with the, what am I using? Angels. Um, there are signs all around you. And, and you're urged with this card to, you know, pay attention. Pay, pay very careful attention, you know, to the messages, you know, that the universe, the angels are, are giving you right now. You've asked for a sign. And they're, they're delivering it to you. Notice these signs. It could be... It could be a butterfly or a bird. You know, that flies very close to you. You know, I don't mean 10 feet away from you. But if it hovers around you, that's a sign. It could be the urge to listen to a song. Or the in or the universe, God, the angels could you could be taking a walk. This has happened to me numerous times. And there's just all right, for me one time, I was looking for a sign for something. I was walking with my dog and there was a heart engraved in the, in the concrete. There's my sign. You get what I'm saying? You know, there's signs all around you, but you definitely need to be aware of them. And there's a lot of that here for you guys today. I haven't seen this card in a long time. Um, dolphins and the mermaids synchronicity your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events notice them in order to increase their flow it's because with this card you're manifesting you know it's all your prayers and your manifestation work that you're attracting synchronistic events synchronistic events means those chance meetings information that just happens to fall in your lap you know other synchroni synchronicities are really answered prayers you're you know heaven is calling your attention to you know the, the synchronicity and the serendipity that's happening in your life today and the more that you notice these magical I want to say today things, the more that they'll occur for you. You know, most of us know there are no you know, coincidental or accidental occurrences. But this card, you know, reflects your recent focus on positive thoughts. You know, which are being directed toward your desires. Faith is what's, you know, reshaping, 
you know, your life into like a masterpiece that reflects your higher self. It's really very beautiful. But there is a big decision here. Just for shits and giggles. Let's see what the next card is. The ring. It's going to have something to do with a big commitment. Deciding whether or not to commit to this person. I know I never do this, but... Oh, guys, listen. This is big love, big commitment for some of you guys. That's what the dilemma is. Big love, big commitment. That really could be very beautiful. Like true love. New beginning in relationships. Could be this man is trying to choose between two people. Maybe for some of you it's a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But a big decision is the focus. So your love cards say these are um, Whispers of Love, Angela Hartfield. I just said this. True love. This is a once in a lifetime love. A passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. The Romance Angels cards. Okay. This could be really a big love. Big love. Big commitment. And with true love here, you know, this relationship is probably a soulmate one. And it's 50-50 and almost perfect with this card. It's perfectly balanced. And this relationship really is part of your life's plan. You know, that is the path that you're meant to take. That is the choice that you need to choose. Wow. That ended better than I thought it would. Wow. And this all fits, guys. Come on. Get out of your head. You're definitely in your head. You're indecisive. You know, it's it feels like the t like it, it's like it's now or never. Take this action before it 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 leaves your life. That's how I feel about it. Like this decision needs to be ASAP. Somebody, if it's not you, it could be the other person that you're involved with, but there's a, somebody needs to make a big decision. My gut, I f definitely feel like somebody, this man or woman, definitely is stuck between two people. And probably because there's, because you're so in the, in that, in that mental prison, I feel like saying today that you, Nobody's even noticing this. Like you're just you're you're missing it. Even though there are signs everywhere. Everywhere. Okay? Beautiful. Wow, that was very interesting. All right, guys. I hope this helps you guys out for the day. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so appreciate it if you guys subscribed because the numbers never add up. They just, I realized that in last week's bi-weeklies, um, big time. Even the amount of private readings, the numbers do, they never add up. I get enough private readings for somebody who has 70,000 subscribers. Please, I have no idea who you are when you subscribe. Just, listen, I'm a Virgo. For my sanity, <laughs> um, please, 
subscribe. I would so much appreciate it. And um, those of you that would like to connect on my Facebook page, that would be awesome too. I do a lot of contests on there. I'm going to actually start doing live daily readings. Now, for those of you that have gotten back to me that, you know, that you don't have a Facebook account, I did create an Instagram account. But I, I am going to draw and upload, you know, a daily Oracle card message there every day. I'll be honest, I do interact more on my Facebook page. But for those of you that don't have Facebook and requested Instagram, I did do that for you guys. Whatever I could do to help you guys out, accommodate you guys. Awesome. So, um, yeah, if you want to connect with me on Instagram, it's the same thing, Tarot Readings by Roxby. Or um, on my Facebook page, I actually have a contest going on on my Facebook page right now. For um, I'll actually, I'll show you. These three decks. The Witch's Tarot, never opened. Tarot with Sexual Magic. And Crystal Visions Tarot. So I am doing a contest right now. And I am going to give these away. Um, I, I loved... The, I... I I bought them twice. Forgot I had them, obviously, and, and just wound up purchasing. I have all three of these decks. So, I am going to give them away on my Facebook page. For those of you that want to connect and get in on that, I would so love that. And I do plan on, within the next few weeks, going live on my Facebook page every day and doing um, dailies for each sign separate from YouTube. Um, so yeah, I would love for you guys to connect with me. Those of you that can on my Facebook page. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, have a beautiful day and I will see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.